Hi, welcome back. I'm now going to start adding the gimp pairs, the gimp pair to the top, going around the, this triangle and spider at the top. This is what it looks like in a drawing. The red that I've already put on goes right around the very edge and the green is going to go in between these two rows you work the ground, you, if you weren't putting this thread in, it wouldn't make any difference to how you would make it, apart from you need to have a two twists before you add it in, and two twists after. And it's going to go into these valleys and up these hills. So I've done these two, and I'm going to do this one, and it's going to run alongside the red one here. So this is what it already looks like. You can see the green already taking place and the red around the outside. I've used these extra pins, these red pins, they're on the peaks and troughs of it to hold the threads so that they don't go too rounded. You can see one here, it's in there, it's not going to pull the threads because it's against its own pin. If I left that pin out on that corner it would go right up to the actual pin of the ground and I don't want it to, I want it to stay a little bit um, away, I want it to be even. What I've done to make life easier for myself is, rather than forget, is I have put an extra twist on every pair because every pair is going to be involved in this. So all these pairs coming into the ground that came in with one twist now all have two twists on. It is easier to go across the whole thing and do it. So, take it down a little bit. This is my dark green, again another thick one, only one bobbin, it's a pair, one goes one way, one goes the other, and it's come through this one last, this is the next one, it's going to go uphill here, it's got its pin there ready to stop it pulling, you know you don't work uphill usually in torsion, but this is adding a gimp, this isn't actually working the stitch, so it's got its two twists on, lift the left, Put it over the right, put the left down in its original place, twist twice. Lift the left. This is because I'm working left, I work that way, but it's still lift the left whichever way you go. Lift the left, put it over, twist, twist. Right, now then the pin going to take this, you can see how it would just be loose within the work if you didn't secure it. I'm going to put the temporary pin in between the two actual pinholes of the ground. I'm going to make a, a hole that isn't actually marked, just raised up there. Now because they're all there I can carry on working the ground. They're coming into the ground with two, all with two twists on to hold that secure, but I'm only going to do the one twist afterwards. I'm now putting the pins in that surround the little triangle, little single triangle ground there, little triangle spider you might call it. And one of these pinholes is in between. That centre one on the two points is actually this one here, where the thread, the gimp goes that way and underneath it will go that way. So that one is worked inside the ground so that doesn't need to come in and out. That stays where it is. Same on the other side. working down this side towards the outside. Now this is the outer pin. I'll just take this back because this is slightly different. Okay, so with your two threads on the outside pin, so you've got one ready to come into the ground. 
I'm going to put an extra twist on that as normal, but instead of taking each pair in turn, I'm going to lift both pairs over, lift the left, take both pairs over, keeping them side by side, put my two twists on, work the ground pin just inside there, tension, put my extra twist on, lift the left over both gimp threads, the right one flicks under and twist twice, I'll work that edge, half stitch, pin half stitch, put an extra twist on both pairs and when this this green one will go down that way, they, they'll split again now. Oh, the red one's just come undone. It takes some doing to get a crochet thread to stay wound sometimes. But this one, this red one will continue down and the, that's the only point where they touch, just that one point there, using the same pin. So I can put those out of the way, not using those, put my green one back where it belongs. And now I will work, I will have to work the triangle, the spider, the triangle. To get back to the underneath to show you how it finishes off underneath. So I'll work the triangle, the spider, the triangle off ground and I'll get it to the point where we wrap, where we actually finish with the green and carry on with the red. Okay, bye for now.